Hey everyone, Captain here. Today I'm going to be doing another weapon showcase for a mod in Dark Souls 3. Today we're going to be playing Champion's Ashes again, and this time we're going to be showing off Kusabi Maru, which is the Sekiro Katana. This is its description if you want to read it. So there is actually six versions of the Kusabi Maru. They all have the same basic moveset but a different skill. This is the basic one, the Blade Arts. The Temple Arts, Shinobi Arts, Mortal Blade, and Black Mortal Blade. Uh, they all have the same E scaling that does get better um, based on how upgraded it is. Uh, the Mortal Blade and Black Mortal Blade versions have E scaling in Faith and Intelligence as well. They all do basic physical damage with no special effects, except for the Mortal Blades versions, which both add bleed. And the Mortal Blade version adds magic damage, and the Black Mortal Blade version adds dark damage. We're going to be starting with the basic Kusabi Maru today. This weapon's full potential is gained when you two-hand it, <clears throat> so that we're going to be showing all the moveset uh, two-handed. As you can see, your character takes up this kind of squared-up stance, so for Sekiro, while in use. You start with the R1s. This is your basic R1. Follow up R1. Sound effects are a little messed up on this weapon, but what can you do? Three R1s. Oh, d uh, d uh, delayed it there, my bad. Four R ones, and finally we do an R one spam. Unlike in Sekiro, you do have salmon in this game, so you can't actually R one forever. <clears throat> in Sekiro, you can hold R one to do a stab attack, and it is also in this mod. You can stop your uh, stab attack from coming out by um, letting go of the button early, in which case your character will do a regular slice. And you can also do the stab attack mid-chain, if you so wish. Your R2 becomes a thrown shuriken. It has short range and kind of just drops off awkwardly. Costs a little bit of FP, does okay damage. And if you hold R2, you can do a charge version which hits multiple times and can stagger enemies that are easily staggered. Additionally, if you press R1 after R2, your character will do a follow up strike. It's pretty nice. The running attack. Running R1, pretty good. Running R2, has a kind of front flip strike, pretty good. Back step R1 is identical to the running attack. The back step R2 has this really cool forward stab attack. Rolling R1 right here. Pretty good move. And the rolling R2 goes straight into the shuriken throw. Now we start going over the skills of each Kusabi Maru, starting with the basic one, which is Ichimanji. A light tap of the button will result in a quick attack. And if you hold it, it will become stronger and um, charge for longer. Additionally, if you press R2 after, you can continue to do it as many times as you want, as long as you have stamina, but eventually it loses its special effects. You can do multiple charge versions, if you so wish. Next, we're going to the Blade Arts version.
which has the skill um, I had to hold. So you go into a uh, stance by holding the weapon R button. If you press R1, it has a uh, kind of quick uh, hilt strike. If you hold, press R2, a really nice double slash. You can kind of like um, um, hilt strike someone and then uh, stagger them and make the follow-up guaranteed. Next we have the Templars version, which has the skill High Monk. A simple uh, L2 results in the double double kick. Like so. I cannot be charged. And if you follow up with an R2, um, you get an additional kick. And if you press R1 after the double kick, you get a double slash with your um, sword. Next we have the Shinobi Arts. This one's probably the most boring version because its skill is only the stab attack, which you can still get after a back step. So, I don't really see much use to this particular version. Now going on to the Mortal Blade versions, and you can see the Mortal Blade is stationed on your back. Uh, an L2 press results in a simple slash, which can also be held, charged. If you follow up with R2, you can do an additional slash, which can also be charged. Same is true of the Black Mortal Vade version. This looks really, really cool. Uncharged, charged, and then follow up. And the L2, or the L1, excuse me, for all the Kusabi Maras is a block. And that concludes uh, the weapon showcase for Kusabi Mara. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video.